guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you and this is Young Womanhood 101 where we share about healthy lifestyle, self-care, college, productivity, and all of the above. So if you like that type of content make sure to subscribe but today we're doing how to romanticize the winter time 2023. So if you struggle with seasonal depression normally, hopefully this video can help you out. So without further ado, let's just jump right on into this video. For many of us, winter time is the worst season of the whole year. You lose daylight, you have to stay indoors, and the seasonal depression tends to kick in. That has typically been the story for me, but this year I've actually enjoyed winter time for the first time ever. So I want to share eight ways that you can romanticize the winter time and hopefully help your seasonal depression. So let's go do that. The first step to romanticizing the winter time is to change your mindset about the winter time. Many of us already have the perspective that winter is gonna suck because the sun will set so early we mostly hang out indoors and we assume that the seasonal depression will kick in and it's a vicious cycle however I saw on TikTok from Mary Skinner if you follow her and she was talking about hibernation season she was saying just like how the plants die in the winter time and animals will go into hibernation humans should also adhere to hibernation season as well because this is what our bodies naturally want to do like the rest of nature does for some reason our society has built up winter to be such a busy season with the holidays and new semesters jobs and just everything can be so busy and we end up having to fight that natural hibernation season that our bodies are wanting to be in the winter time is meant for slower activities activities so that could be reading, knitting, crocheting, drawing, painting, baking, those types of slow activities are great for the winter time. For me, I love to have people over at my house during the winter time because I just don't want to go out when it's cold outside. So I love to have cozy nights in with friends, whether we're watching a movie, playing games, that's my favorite during the winter time. So that I'm not isolating myself, but I'm still participating in the hibernation season. If you change your mindset and perspective on winter to be a hibernation season and a preparation season for spring when everything is fresh and new and it's just an exciting time then the winter becomes bearable because it has a purpose now the second step to romanticizing the winter time is to change up your routine many of us get caught up in the same routine during the winter time which makes the season very dreary and mundane it's hard to wake up early you want to sleep in it's hard to get a good routine going. We normally do the exact same things every day during the winter, but I encourage you to try some new activities during this winter season, whether that's new hobbies, trying out a new restaurant, just doing new activities with friends, just switching things up a little bit. Some ideas for you in case you want some. You could go on a walk in the middle of the day. I feel like that definitely breaks up your routine and that's probably when it's the warmest for you. You could also invite friends over for game nights or movie nights like I said I love to do. You could spend the day baking like baking bread or some sort of treat. I feel like that's so fun and cozy. So those are just some ideas of things you could do to just spruce up your routine a little bit. To just get out of the regular mundane go to work come home and just go through that cycle number three step to romanticize the winter time is to move your body and that's what i did you can see this mat in the back i did an abs workout today exercise is vital especially during the winter time and i know this feels like contrary to the hibernation stuff that i was talking about earlier but exercise will make you feel 
less lazy, less unmotivated, and it will kickstart the rest of your day. I think people have a misconception about exercise that you have to do one thing, but exercise can literally be whatever you want it to be. It could be Pilates, running, weightlifting, yoga. You could do just dance. I know that doesn't seem like exercise, but it makes you sweat. For me, I like to switch up my exercises so I just don't get bored. And I like to go on lots of walks. I do weightlifting, yoga, and Pilates are the things that I like to do. So I definitely recommend switching it up. Doing a bunch of different exercises honestly will help keep things interesting. I'm doing this one on my bed because it made the most sense. But number four way to romanticize the winter time is to maintain a good sleep schedule. Like I mentioned earlier, it can be so easy during the winter time to want to sleep in and stay up late and just not have a good sleep schedule just because of how dreary the season is. Especially because the sunlight is so limited during the winter, it's best to take advantage of the light that you have. So waking up at a reasonable time so you can get the most sunlight possible possible is going to be the best for your mental health. Something that I do to help me get out of bed at a reasonable time is I set a sweatshirt and a pair of fuzzy socks on my nightstand before I go to sleep so that when I wake up I immediately put those on and it's easier for me to get out of bed versus just being shocked by the coldness of my house. So I found that to be a good trick to get out of bed quicker. The fifth tip for romanticizing the winter time is to ask for support. Obviously, any sort of seasonal depression is so difficult to overcome when your feelings and your lack of motivation are just so overwhelming. And like I mentioned earlier, even if it's hibernation season, you shouldn't isolate yourself from friends and family. So use your resources around you to facilitate healthy and encouraging relationships. Also, if it's a very serious matter for you, maybe seeing a counselor would be a good idea. I'm currently in counseling and it's been so helpful for me in navigating my feelings and how to express them and just how to balance all of the things on my plate. So if it's a serious matter, I would definitely seek out a counselor too. Number six is to keep your space clean. Having a clean space can actually increase your motivation and productivity for the winter time. And I know for me, I can feel paralyzed when I have a messy house or a messy room and I can't even get started on the things I need to work on when my space isn't clean. So spend some time cleaning and creating a space that you enjoy being in. Something that I do is a daily tidy of the downstairs before bed and I feel like this this helps a lot in the morning when I'm waking up, still not super ready for the day, but I have a clean space that makes life easier for me. And as far as my cleaning schedule goes, I have a two-story house, so I clean and wipe and dust and all of that downstairs once a week. And then the other week I do upstairs and I just rotate between the two. And that's how I keep my space clean, as you can see. I'm in my living room kitchen right now and it looks pretty clean to me. Number seven is to change into an actual outfit for the day. Especially if you work from home, it's hard to change out of your comfy clothes, but if you stay in them, you feel groggy and definitely pretty lazy. Rather than wear your pajamas all day, at least change into a sweatshirt and leggings like I did, which will help you feel more motivated. What I try to do is I try to change out of my pajamas as soon as I can. I normally put on my workout clothes so that I am motivated to work out. So I put those on as soon as I can in the morning because if I don't, then I'll end up staying in sweatpants until like 12 p.m. and I decide to do something. So that's my little tip for you. Change into something at least. I'm working from home today, so that's why I changed into this. But if you're really feeling motivated, you could change into jeans, but I don't do that when I'm at home. Number eight is to set three goals for yourself every day. This is something I am trying to do because 
I struggle with the winter and hibernation season because I often overload myself and I think that I can accomplish more in one day than I actually can. And then I feel guilty because I didn't accomplish everything that I thought I could do in one day. But this is contrary to how our bodies naturally operate in the winter time. So what I begin doing for myself is giving myself three goals and then I think if I at least accomplish these three things, then I've done enough for the day. I'm trying to tell myself that. I can't say I don't have productivity guilt sometimes, but at least I can feel somewhat accomplished at the end of the day. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know of any other video ideas you'd like to see from me, because I love to do those for you. And I will see you guys whenever I see you next. <laughs> Bye, guys.